Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about the 100th episode photos. They are kind of spoilery, very exciting, but also we're going to talk about The Flash and their upcoming episode, because they released new photos as well. Some cool stuff, I thought I would just include it as one whole big video, but mainly it's about Supergirl and the 100th episode, because that's a big topic that we need to talk about. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so the first photo of Supergirl's 100th episode, episode 13 of the season, is of Jean. He's in this sort of blue, but also red lit area, and it looks really cool. He's in a suit, he doesn't obviously have his Martian face, because, you know, this is just a photo, it's a behind the scenes photo, it's not you know, it has no CGI basically. And so he's on the ground, it seems like he's been hit or something and he's about to get up. Then we go back to this next photo and this photo is again of Jean, he's in his suit, but Kelly's there as well. And you have to remember this is the 100th episode, Mr. Mix's Pillalik is going to be in this episode, aka Mixie, as they say on the TV show. But he's been recast and we'll talk about that in a minute because we get our first look at Mixie later in these photos. However, they're going to be going back in time to these different points in history and you're going to see familiar faces. So that's sort of the general premise of the episode because Supergirl has to choose to see if she wants to change anything. Basically, you know, mainly to do with Lena and her friendship, but I think it's going to be broader than that. I think that's just a synopsis for now. So we move on to the next photo. We've got Alex and Wynn together. Wynn is staring doing this kind of very weird face. I think the face is of concentration, so some sort of threat is there, basically, is what I'm getting at. He's in his suit, you get this. He's just, you know, looking cool, I don't know, it's just a nice photo. Then we move on, we get our first look at the new Mixie, and I don't know what I feel about this, because I loved Mixie in season two, when he just briefly appeared for that one episode with Kara and Monel. It was absolutely priceless, I thought the actor was brilliant. And I completely bought into it. Obviously, I don't know about this because I haven't seen him in action. I don't know what it's going to be like. However, I still feel a bit, like, salty about it because I really love that past version of Mixie. However, I'm obviously excited to see a version of Mixie on the TV show because he's a great character. He's really sort of mischievous and just an exciting character. So I'm looking forward to that. But anyway, so he's here. He's talking. His eyes are kind of wide. He's, you know, got his hands like this, he's obviously up to something kind of, you know, not right. Because you can see that look on Kara's face, and also Nia's face. Nia's got her arms crossed, she doesn't seem very impressed by him. Then we got this photo, it's again of Mixie, Kara, and Nia. They look into the distance, it seems like this is actually at the headquarters where, you know, the new DEO sort of place is going to be. It's called the Tower, that's what Jean calls it, even though it's not a tower. But, you know, that's a reference to the comics. Anyway, so Mixie's here with them, he's doing this face, so they're obviously seeing something, I'm not sure what. We get this photo of Nia, she's in the same place, just looking cool. Then we get this, we have Kara and Lena together. Lena is sort of affectionately putting her hands on Kara, so you would hazard the guess this is actually the stuff in the past. Because Lena, this new version of Lena, or our current version of Lena, wouldn't do that, and Kara wouldn't do that either. Unless this is towards the end of the episode and their relationship has changed for the better. I'm guessing this is back in the past. We've got them hugging, so again, a big sign that something's off. You know, could be her change in time, could be this alternate stuff that Mixie's doing this episode. But yeah, so let me know your theories in the comments down below. They're hugging. I really like this, and I'm really intrigued to see what actually happens. We've got this photo of both of them again. Same position, just from a different angle. You've got, I think it's Lena's lab in the background, I could be wrong. There's some stuff on the screen, I can't really make it out as to what specifically it is. But again, this could be in the past. We go over to this next photo, we're on the street, and we are with Mixie and Supergirl. They are in the middle of the street, there's like rubbish all over the place, I don't know what's happened. Some sort of destruction has gone on, whether it's just like random shit, like falling out the sky. I don't know. However, he's here, he's with Kara. He seems to be in his sort of mischievous state that he always is in, and yeah, so maybe this excites me a bit more because this reminds me of how kind of crazy and kind of weird the stuff with him could be. Probably my favourite photo of the bunch, 
is this. So Kara is in the street again, and she's staring down someone, and man, just, this looks so cool, this gets me excited, because this is like a total Supergirl look, you know, staring at the enemy, square in the face, she's about to kick someone's ass, or about to do something really, really cool. Okay, so let's move on to the next photo, we've got Mixie again with Supergirl, they're, I believe, in a different location, it could be the same location, but some sort of explosion has gone off, and they are shocked, you can see by the look on their faces, they're obviously covered by orange and red and yellow lights, therefore you can hint explosion also there's fire in the background so they're hiding behind this car we've got this we see Nia and Nia is walking down the street towards what I would presume is Mixie and Kara and so maybe it seems like she's there to rescue them or you know to assist them in some way but yeah so those are the photos I'm really excited for this episode because of Mixie even if it's not the version of Mixie that we've seen in the past, I believe it's exactly the same version though, but he's just changed his appearance and there is an easy way to explain the recasting and that's due to his nature and his powers and he could definitely change his appearance, so there's no worries about the recasting as in terms of like continuity or anything like that. But I have to say I'm a bit hesitant because I did love that past version of Mixie we got back in season 2 and his episode is great, and I think it's one of the best episodes of Supergirl so far, like throughout the whole run. So yeah, I am excited, very excited, especially because it's the 100th episode, and I think it's very nice that they would bring in someone like Mixie to make us reminisce about the past, to go to these different locations. Like, who's going to pop up? We don't know. We obviously know a few people like Ben Lockwood from more recent seasons. We know they're going to show up. But we don't know about the people in the past. It seems Monel is very, very likely to show up due to the fact of Chris being in Vancouver at the same time. He did an interview recently where he talked a little bit about, you know, being around at that time when they were filming the 100th episode. And he was definitely teasing that there might be a cameo for us to see. But yeah, so I'm really excited for the 100th episode. Let me know, are you in the comments down below? So without further ado, let's go on to move on to The Flash. So most of the photos from the upcoming episode of The Flash are actually not of Barry. So it seems like Barry might be playing a smaller role in this episode. And I don't know, it seems like it's more to do with like Ralph and Sue Dibney, who we actually get to see. And we'll talk about that all right now. So yeah, the first photo is of Ralph, and he's with Sue Dibney, who he's been tracking down since the end of last season. So finally she's appearing, this has been teased for a long time, there's been lots of hints, and you know, finally they got round to it, they cast the person who is playing the role, and I'm excited for this, because you know, it's been a long time, I think Ralph needs something to do on the show, he hasn't been doing much recently. And that's not to say because he's a bad character, he's not a bad character anymore, yet he was in season 4, but he's been good recently, just sort of running out of stuff to do, and I think this is very good for him to have something to do. Obviously, in the comics, Sue Dibney becomes Ralph Dibney's wife, obviously she's not called Dibney right now, so I don't know why I'm calling her that, but that's just out of habit because that's her name in the comics, but Sue Dearborn, as of right now. Now we move on to the next photo, we've got a look at Iris potentially in that mirror world that she was trapped in and I'm pretty damn sure this is the new version of the mirror master as you can see Iris is trying to sort of lean forward and talk to her we get this photo right here and there's a shit ton of equations on the board behind them so I could be mistaken but I'm pretty damn sure this is a new version of the mirror master obviously Cisco explained in the episode when we returned due to crisis there's all these different versions of these characters who are going to appear but they're not played by the same people, or they're not the same people, because that is what Crisis has done to the world. Then we move on to this next photo, and this is really damn cool. Obviously, they're posing for the camera. This is a behind-the-scenes look, but we got Sue Dearborn and Ralph. And I just wanted to say this photo is so cool. It definitely gets me really excited. Then we got some more of Ralph and Sue. This one right here, they're in some sort of warehouse or like an alley. Then we move on, and Sue's actually suited up which is really really cool I didn't know she would suit up this early however you know Ralph is with her so they're definitely working together on some cases but he's as the elongated man so she knows about his secret identity but yeah so that's about it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching please be sure to subscribe and share the channel around we are 100 subscribers off of 100k we really need to get there it's really hard to just like to push over that line but it would be really appreciated if you shared this video around to your friends online in real life 
anyone who likes The Flash or Supergirl. Also, please be sure to share the channel around and subscribe if you are brand new around here. But I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.